Welcome back everybody. I recently bought two junk drawer lots off of eBay. One was sold for $29.50, the other was sold for $22. I paid $10.50 in shipping and with tax and everything included it was around $65. So I thought we could take a look to see if I actually got junk or maybe some interesting items. Okay, I just uh, opened the package and dumped everything in the box, so let's take a look. First up here, we have a Craftsman ratcheting uh, hex bit driver. These are actually uh, really nice. I don't know who made these, but uh, they come in handy. It's reversible, and it is made in the USA, so that's kind of nice. All right, next thing out of the box here, we have a Cobalt. And I've had these before, never used one before, but this is a nail punch. I believe it's supposed to be used on trim, like I would guess base molding, crown molding, whatever. It maybe gives you a little more of an accurate hit on the nail, so you're not digging up the trim work. Next, we have a chalk line and obviously it still has some chalk I got on a few of the tools it's not too bad a little bit open it's made by Irwin it's an Irwin classic it says so uh, chalk included one of the tools here that got hit by a little chalk is this set of Craftsman metric uh, hex wrenches and these are made in the USA nice little set there all right coming out next we have what I thought at first was a set of keys um, these are very thin like sheet metal keys I don't know if these are blanks to make regular keys or what they are some of these are a little strange looking so if you know what these are for please drop it in the comments okay next we have this little uh, finger ratchet I guess we'll call it it's got the uh, quarter inch drive on both sides not seeing a brand name on there. After taking a closer look, it, it does seem unbranded. Still useful. All right, next we have what I believe is a set of torch tip cleaners. Let me pop it open real quick. So it's got the different size tips on it. I don't see a brand name on this one, but, but I'll keep this one around in case I need it. Okay, coming up we have a Craftsman uh, Punch. This is uh, made in the USA. Looks like it's never been, well, it's maybe been used. It's pretty clean yet. And then we have a magnifying glass and honestly, uh, I will definitely use this because there's a lot of tools I look at where I can barely make the name out and my glasses aren't strong enough to see it. It does look like it has a brand name here. Unfortunately, just by looking at it through my phone, I'm unable to make that out. And if I look with my glasses, it's even smaller. But I'll, I'll take a better look in the house. If I had a magnifying glass, I might be able to see it. Oh, there's actually a torch tip in here. It's a Victor. I don't know if it's new, but it looks pretty usable. Okay, we have a little level here. I don't know if that's just a generic name. But uh, it also has something in the end here. I'm sure most of you are going to know exactly what this is. I do not know what that's used for. I don't, I don't know what that does. It's got a button here. I don't, I don't believe it's a flashlight. Could be, but I think it's something else going on there. Maybe used uh, as part of a, uh, with another piece of uh, leveling equipment. Go ahead and drop it in the comments if you know. Okay. Next we have a Mac. Let's see if I can see the part number S13B. This is a it's a brake tool for I believe drum brakes. It's in pretty good condition. We have a set of feeler gauge next. Oh, it's made by Wizard. And if I remember right, Wizard was sold at I want to say Western Auto. Was it Western Auto? I'll have to look that up. Okay, we got a Made in the USA nail set, 132nd. No brand that I can see on it, but something I'll keep around for sure. Okay, next we have a, a hole punch. Got a little bit of the blue powder on it. This one actually says Made in Germany. Looks like it's in pretty good shape yet. 
a lot of times I get these. Oh, it's an Empire, which is a Wisconsin-based company, I believe. Um, a lot of times I get these and the punches are all crushed or rusty. or But this one seems to be in pretty good shape, so I'll keep that one around. Okay, out of the box next we have a 10-inch uh, Craftsman adjustable. It's in pretty good shape. It does have a, a name on it there, but it's pretty light. No big deal. Okay, next we have, um, obviously, a hex tool. I'm sure this is a quick release. Maybe it's a quick release. <laughs> okay, so it is a quick release. I, I did take it out. It, it's pretty stiff, so it's not quite as quick as it could be. So it, I think this probably came with, like, a Craftsman set. I know that I've had Craftsman sets with this sort of... Uh, bit in there that has the interchangeable ends and this likely has another Phillips on the other side maybe a flat but oh it's got a countersink in it that's interesting I was not expecting that but now that I think of it I think mine do have that as well there's the, the set screw so yeah I think there should be a drill bit in there so you can uh, uh, drill and countersink and then uh, put your screw in right away okay we also have a little flat tip craftsman I'm sure it's USA made without even looking, but it's in there under the dirt. And we also have this Craftsman little spinner handle. It does not have the extension end in it, so it's got the quarter inch drive, square drive. All right, we got a pair of pliers coming up here next. These are Wizard. At first, I thought that was a Diamond logo. No, maybe Diamond made them for Wizard. Diamond had that same sort of stamp in their handle that said USA. Of course, it also is a diamond shape. And this is actually, I believe, a hose clamp pliers. Pretty good shape. A little dirty, but pretty good shape. Okay, what do we got here? A Mac SC63. It's got an interesting end on there. I'm going to guess this is for some sort of uh, sensor. Or you have, it has like a wire coming out of the top, maybe a oil pressure sensor or something like that. All right, then we got these little pliers. These are, I guess, like an ignition pliers. Oh, they're Mac, actually. If it'll focus on there. I think it says a P3G. Handles are really dirty. I think they'll clean up. Then we have a... This is a Mac punch. It's a little used, this little mushroom down the end, but still plenty of life left in it. This is a little gem here. A little quarter inch flex head. It's a Mac M3R. A little bit of chrome loss on the knurled handle, but the rest of it's in really good shape. The head is really loose. Let's see if it works the fine tooth uh, round heads are usually fine tooth I, mean, I did switch the gear and it does work fine in both directions so I paid $22 for that second lot I would say this ratchet's worth every penny of that all right I'm bringing three things out at once here because they're all the same we got a set of craftsmen uh, feeler gauges we got uh, Tom's uh, set of Mac feeler gauges and then we got another set from Mac. Apparently these were not Tom's. Uh, he didn't sign them. But uh, three three more sets of feeler gauges. I think there was another one. Yeah, the one by Wizard. So that's four. Okay, next we have a very dirty long handle Mac. Can't quite make out the number there. It looks like P11. I don't know. I'm losing it. Is it P111? G-RB. Something like that. I don't know if this is for spark plug boots or just any old hose. I honestly think it'll clean up just fine. Let's test my theory real quick. So, this is about a 15 second rub down with a, just a little hand wipe. If I spent a little more time on it, probably... I didn't really... I just did the top edge mostly. Sides, just a hair, so... Uh, it's not going to come out perfect, but it'll be way better than it was. It really didn't do anything here, but this is more um, some chrome loss, some 
surface rust. But yeah, the handles look much better. Same goes for that ignition plier. That should come out nice too. I did the same on those ignition pliers and that's about 10 seconds worth of rubbing on there. So those will come out nice too. <laughs> I don't know what sort of things this person had on their hands, but man, it's difficult to turn a handle that black. Okay, gonna start moving a little faster here. We're running out of daylight. That's a Mac punch. We got a little quarter inch Craftsman ratchet made in the USA. It's in pretty good shape. A uh, Mac flat tip stubby. We got another Mac flat tip stubby. This one is hand signed. Next we have, what do we got here? Focus, there we go, looking for a name on there. So I think if I'm seeing it right, well, those are round. At first I thought they were Allen. So I'm gonna need some help on this one. I think it has the size of this rod that's sticking out. It's 0.069 and 0.072. Tell me what that's for, because I am not sure. We got a slime uh, air tire pressure gauge. Got another one of these handy little finger ratchets, Craftsman. It's got the uh, quarter inch and the hex. Got a Craftsman stubby Phillips. So now we got a set of stubbies. Here we got a little pocket knife. Let me pop this thing open. You know, I surprised myself here because it seems fairly good quality. And then I saw that. And I'm a little surprised. There's, there's actually some weight to it. It opened real nice, had a nice snap to it on the way open. But uh, yeah, no name made in China. Definitely still works though. All right, next up we have a Mac. Five Ace. I believe this is a considered a ratcheting wrench, sort of a ratcheting line wrench, I guess. I have a Mac, three inch long, three inch drive extension. Just figured I'd set these all at the same time. We have some bolt extractors. I didn't see a name on them, but uh, always handy to have because if you ever use these. You end up breaking one here and there, so it's nice to have some backups. We got a handful of quarter inch drive extensions here. We have like a little one inch, a six, another six. We have a three, we have a three eighths to, uh, or I should say quarter inch to three eighths uh, adapter. And then we also have this, I believe it would be a 10 inch. Let's see what the part number is. Maybe it'll focus on there. Yeah, so it's a 10, the Mac, 10 inch quarter inch drive extension. We have a Mac punch, a little used, but plenty of life left in that one. We have another nail set here. I see Japan there. I'm not seeing a brand anywhere. Well used. Probably still has some life left in it though. And then the last thing out of this box is an Empire string level. Looks to be all intact, not broken, so. Yeah, handy to have those around. So this is going to be everything out of the uh, two junk drawer lots. $65 for everything. I think it's pretty good. It was fun to kind of see what was all in there. Yes, I could see some of the pictures, but you couldn't tell brands and couldn't see everything. But I think this, just that ratchet and a couple pair of pliers there, just about worth what I paid for it. So that's going to be all for this one. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.